Hello all, I just wanted to do a quick video showing you how to export from CircuitMaker to PCBs.io. Now, one of the things about PCBs.io is that they really like Eagle. Eagle is another program that you can use to design PCBs, but since we're using CircuitMaker, it takes some extra steps to get it to work with PCBs.io. So, here we have the file that we worked on a couple weeks ago. This is the RGB LED strip controller, and I'm doing a giveaway for a couple of these in my previous video. I'll go ahead and give a link to that in the description if you want to enter. I will be doing the giveaway once I get the boards in from PCBs.io. So, first thing that we're going to want to do is avoid clicking on the output buttons. I know it's very tempting, but you're going to need to avoid that and instead go to Home and then Project go down to Generate Outputs, save any changes you have, so commit them to the repository. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have selected Gerber files and NC drill files on the side here. Then we're gonna go ahead and configure the Gerber and under General, make sure that Inches is selected. Then go to Layers and we're gonna to need Top and Bottom Overlay we're going to need top and bottom solder and top layer and bottom layer. And lastly, we're going to need outline. So that's a total of seven. Go ahead and pause the video here if you need to look at those. Next, we're going to want to go into NC drill files. Make sure inches is selected here as well and click OK and generate. That will generate the files and you can select where you want to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and overwrite the one that I had before. Okay, so here's the file that we just generated. Now, I'm going to need to edit this, and I recommend using 7-Zip, if you don't have it, it's a great program, to edit the archive. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this in 7-Zip by going to Open Archive. Then in here, I will need to be deleting statusreport.txt, since that messes up some of PCBs.io's systems. So go ahead and delete that. Then go to Gerber and you're gonna to wanna to rename this .outline file with .gko. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename that .gko. Okay, that'll be fine. And now we're ready to upload this to pcbs.io. Okay, so here's pcbs.io. Now I can just drag this in here very easily and it will upload and complete and I'll be back when it's done. All right, so the upload has finished and here we have our board previews. Now, make sure you look really carefully at these to make sure that you have uh, not made any mistakes because I've definitely made the mistake of ordering boards with issues on them before. And this is a good place to be able to catch that. So just give a quick glance over your design. Make sure that there's no, no glaringly obvious mistakes. In my case, I had a big hole cut out of the board over here because I had accidentally drawn some lines in the board outline layer, and I just had to switch them to a different layer and it fixed the issue. So just give it a quick look over, then down at the bottom, you can place your order. I'm not gonna go down there now because my address is there and I don't wanna show you that, but here it is and that is it. So again, go back to the previous video if you want to get in on the giveaway for a couple of these. And yeah, thank you for watching.